Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In the last video, we saw how do we find a particular element in our web page or on our web page. What do we do when we are not sure what element or what unique identification it has? Or in case if I want to find more than one element, what should be my approach? In such cases, we have a functionality known as find element. Find elements is a function which is quite similar to find element, but the only difference is that it uh, returns a list of all the web elements that are present with that ID. Now let's see how do we find elements based on a particular uh, type or based on a particular locator. So in case I have to find an element with the ID, I pass it as find elements. The everything, the driver name, everything returns, everything remains the same. The only difference is it would be returning a list of the objects. So if in case I want to find a particular element, I call the find element function. If in case and I have to find a particular element, like say I'm having an input box whose name is, whose ID is one and I am having five boxes with such names. Then I pass the find elements by dot ID and I pass the ID that is one over here. It would be returning me the list of all the elements that are there on the page. So we can do it for ID, name, class name, tag name, link text, the partial link text, CSS and XPath. The entire, the entire process of calling remains same. Only difference is we have to pass the function as find elements. Now let's see the practical demo of how actually we can call this thing. So what we do is uh, whenever we are passing the find elements like this is a tag name and it is getting in a list. I have to run the for loop that is for, for the web element object till we have the element in link elements. And I simply keep on you know printing the name of the links one by one. So now this is what we can do for a particular web elements. We can have it for tag name, for uh, the ID, for the name, for the link text, any property that we want to use. This size is basically telling me what should be the size of the elements or how many you know elements are there in this array. <clears throat> As I previously mentioned it to you, that if in case there are no elements and the list is empty, if in case there is one element, the list returns only one uh, only one element. And if in case there are more than one, the list returns the entire uh, list of all the elements present on the page. Now let's quickly go to our uh, screens and on our Eclipse and run this and check the working of find elements function. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, as we have already you know seen about the finding elements uh, the theory part about it now we will quickly go through and find some lot of elements on the page so what all, all elements you know can be there in a page right it can be a text it can be a input box it can be a link it can be an anchor anything for that right so to you know to, to demo this one to do demo the find elements one what we will do is we will open up our uh, a project as find elements demo and in the source folder we will create a new package and name it as com dot find elements right and I click on finish so into this one I create a new class and I name this class as find elements demo and I obviously I want the main method into this one and I click on finish so here is my class up and running with the main method and I start quickly with my system dot set property the property that I need to set is web driver dot Eco dot driver and here I mention as eco driver now now I need to actually uh, 
have the driver with me so I so I get the driver as web driver equal to new Maronte driver so now like after we have done it as uh, web driver driver equal to this driver now what I'll do is I'll simply get the URL that I'm supposed to get and obviously I'm again going for my the URL which I always use our own tutorials point practice form uh, guys you can always use this form like uh, to practice the automation script you can uh, reach this you know form using the uh, either through the helpful links for selenium or through the website you know portal one by one or you can even directly hit this form as well right so here I am I write driver dot get now after this what I have to do is I have to actually now make a list now why I need a list actually I am needing this list because I want that whatever elements are returned by the form element they should be stored as you know one after the other in a list right and I name this list as list of elements it's very simple very precise I'm making a list and uh, I have named it as list let me name it as list of uh, links since I would be trying to fetch the links first of all uh, so once done with list of links uh, I simply call the driver and I call find elements method guys this point is to be made sure that yes you are actually working on the f on the element right because you're not working on one element now you would be working on more than one element right so find elements and here after by you write dot tag name now the tag name I'm passing over here is the anchor tag or the a tag as you can refer it so this line is not very difficult I'm explaining it to you once again I'm creating a list and the list is of type web elements which means that list would hold the web elements object right the name of this list is uh, list of links and what all elements are there with this name of a would be actually fetched or found into this list now what I want is I want to first print that you know what is the actual size of this list so the total number of links on the page are here I write plus list of links dot size right so this would return me an integer which would be you know which I would be printing over here it would be like a number like say 10 links or 15 links whatever is the case let's first run this case and you know run this particular program and then see the output and then you actually go ahead and you know work uh, on to these ones later on so I think I would have got the response onto my Eclipse. I will go back to Eclipse. So it says that there are total 56 links on this particular page. Now say that I want to see the details of all those pages. So now I start a for loop, right? I would be actually using the for each loop. <coughs> now what is for each loop? For each loop actually refers, you know, to, they are basically in for iterators. Like if you can see that. Uh, what it simply means is that you know start a web element for all those web elements that are there into this list of links till it exists right you can even you know uh, have a normal for where you know you can start from i equal to zero i is less than a list of links uh, dot size right? or like this is all standard procedure right but this due to this the code becomes lengthy and it becomes difficult so this the java provides this inbuilt iterator over the for each uh, loop in the form of for each loop right so here i print what am i supposed to print over here i am supposed to print okay what should be what should we print you know like okay like if i talk about uh, you know general like what should I print actually uh, yes t yes think about it we obviously need to print the text right so I write web element dot get 
text. So now what it will do is it will print the 56 links that are there onto this page over here. I read on this pro read on this uh, application, this project or this uh, program. I minimize my Firefox and open up my Eclipse. So here is it. So all of these links, you know, if you can look at them, 56, all of these are actually links present on the page. I hope this is very much clear to you. <coughs> Let me explain this one again. So what is doing is we are creating a web element. This is basically initialization to be iterated over this particular list, right? And like in in this loop, whatever this is the body, or like whatever we want to do, we can do it over here, right? Now let's take one more example, and you know, in this particular example, what I would be doing is, yeah, here I would be actually trying to fetch. Okay, let, let's find what we can, uh, what are the other things that I can fetch on, on this page? Okay, guys. So what I'll do is this input box is very common. And I can try and find this input box onto my page, right? So I go to my Eclipse and I write a list of inputs equal to driver dot find elements by dot. So how should I find it, right? Okay, let me find like okay so what can be a way a very basic way is you know in which I would actually create out the X path so what can be the X path for input box right so what I'll do is I'll create a X path let me create the X path first over here we are going for the absolute path and search for all the inputs right make sure that whatever make sure that whatever type is there like say I want this input to be of type text so what it will actually pick up for me is it will pick up all the inputs that are having the type text right now I'll actually use this particular X path and here I actually simply paste this one so I hope there are no errors yes this is fine now for this one I'll actually only print out the total size of this you know array so let me run this and see if it works I go back to my Eclipse. I'm waiting for all the elements one by one. Yes, see. So there are five input boxes which are having the type as text. Now let's find them one by one. One, two, three. Okay, I'm not able to find any more. Okay, I can go for fourth. So five input boxes which have which had the type text and are successfully identified right guys so I hope you have got the you know idea in this one about how the find elements work right with tag name and with x path right so thank you guys for tuning in hope you enjoyed this session